All right, I forgot to put up the Venus video, and I deleted all the videos on my camera before I uploaded the Venus one with the planets. So let me put in Venus right now. Now Venus, uh, Venus exaltation is in uh, Pisces, so that means Venus fall is in Virgo. This is why Virgos worry so much because Virgos, um, and then when you show them a, a, a immense amount of love. They push you away a little bit because they don't feel like they deserve it. Now, this, this is a personal issue with them just because Virg, uh, Venus is not there. So if they have a healthy Venus, if a Virgo have a healthy Venus um, in their chart, then this will help balance that out. But naturally, the Virgos have to worry, has bad nerves, get sick faster than others, and just like that because they don't share the luxury of love on a certain level like Venus is love but I don't want you to think love just pertains to people it, it pertains to things uh, feelings emotions you could you could love a certain feeling you have but if you're not if you're not exerting that feeling all the time then you're not you don't love it the way you think you love it like I love feeling like I have a million dollars so I have a million dollars and I go back to that feeling every day you know what I'm saying because I love that feeling so if you if you want a million dollars, you better live in that vibration. Cause if you don't live in that vibration, you'll find yourself worrying that you won't never have a million dollars. That's a, that's like a small scale of not of of the bill uh, of a fall of Venus right there. Now the uh, the the rise. I mean, Venus home is is Taurus, Taurus and and Libra. That's Venus home. So when it's away. It's a way in uh, Scorpio and Aries. So this is why Aries may feel uncomfortable with expressing love. This is why Scorpio may feel uncomfortable with, with showing the love that they have for you. A Scorpio could be madly in love with you, but you would never know how much they're in love with you just because if they express that, they will feel vulnerable. Same with Aries. Uh, Aries... Uh, Aries will straight up, straight up off the back, let you know that they don't want love. But deep down inside, they may want love, but they push it away because they scared that if they open themselves to love and then they get their heart broke, they always knew they was right in the first place. So they don't want to experience the feeling that they made themselves feel because they know how that, like an Aries will sit back and, and, could come up with an idea of how it would feel to have your heart broke, have your heart broke. So, with Aries is action oriented, so they put that into action. So they would, in their actions, they will, they will show people that oh, I don't ever want to be in love. I don't, I don't want to be married. But deep, deep down inside, they do. But they know, they know, they know the hearts of men. They know the hearts of women because it's in the head. So Aries have to be the head of things. So they all they already ahead of situations. So when a situation comes that they feel like they open up they open themselves up for love, they start looking ahead. So they know this can happen because they seen it done. They felt it. They know how it's going to feel because they psyched themselves up to feel that way. So when the actual heartbreak come, they look at it like, damn, I always knew I was going to feel this way by even going into that shit. I shouldn't even did that shit in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That's how Aries come about it. So Aries and Scorpios have a lot in common just because they, uh, Venus feel uncomfortable in those houses. You know what I'm saying? And Mars is the home of them houses. So, you know, Aries, Aries is a watery fire and Scorpio is a water. Um, a fiery water and let me mix that up Aries is a fiery water like you can look at an ocean and see fire you can look at a pool and it's a it's a fire pool it's a fire pool and then Scorpio's is a watery fire you can look at a pool and it's a hot hot boiling pool you know what I'm saying so it's it's like those are the hot signs those are the signs that'll kill you you know what I'm saying? Aries and Scorpios. Unless they got defliction from from other planets or whatever like that. Anybody who has a large amount of Aries or a large amount of Scorpio in a NATO chart, and if it's if if it's debilitated, I mean if it's if it's squared up or if it's tried up, this can lack those qualities. But if it's squared up and opposed up, Scorpios and Aries will kill a motherfucker. 
And every sign to kill a motherfucker, I tell you that, any sign will. But Aries and Scorpios will do it off impulse. They 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 do it off they do it off the point of not giving a fuck about anything else. Other signs that incorporate other shit. Like a Capricorn might set your motherfucking ass up and get killed. You know what I'm saying? A Scorpio Aries, they're gonna do it them goddamn selves and gonna want you to know that they did it. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna be no mask and I don't wanna get caught in nothing like that. At a certain time in a Scorpio Aries life, all that is out the window. You know what I'm saying? But um uh, you know what I'm saying? Venus, you know what I'm saying? Venus is love. Venus is where our relationship shows come from. Venus is where our, um, Venus gives us the, the love for money. Venus give us the love for cars. Give, Venus give us the love for earth. You know what I'm saying? Without Venus, we wouldn't have love for plants and, and shit like that. And we really don't now. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really kind of weird. That these other beings be coming down here and utilizing more Saturn energy, utilizing more Jupiter shit, utilizing more Mars shit. But when it comes to and utilizing more Mercury, but when it comes to Venus, we have a it's, it's like a shortage of Venus energy on this Earth right now, and then it's getting duplicated into Mercury shit. And it may be because it's close to Mercury, but I don't know. But you look at love shows now, and they and they do more gossiping than anything. It's like Venus is getting diluted. I don't, I don't know what's going on with Venus right now. Venus finna be going into Leo pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? It's like Venus is is it's a problem going on with Venus because it's a lack of love on this earth. And you know what I'm saying? And I have a lack I have a lack of Venus in my chart. Like I mean a lack a lack of where it should be. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I always felt this way, but now that I'm feeling this way with the world, it's like I don't know where this energy coming from, man. It's a, it's a, it's a lack of Venus going on right now. But Venus, you know, Venus is 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 like Mercury's sister. You know what I'm saying? Venus, Venus is gonna help you wherever Venus at is prominent in your chart. It's gonna help you love, it, and then wherever house is in, you're gonna love that area. Like me, I love. I love my status. I have Venus in the uh, the tenth house, so I love. It's like, and then I have Libra in the third house, so that's the ruler. That's the other ruler. So I have love for communi communicating my thoughts, and in, uh, in an artistic form. You know what I'm saying? In an artistic form. I love, and then. And I love making something out of it. This is why I have so many videos on YouTube. This is why I have so much of it. And this is why it's all set up. Like, I got it put in set. Like, I, I, I can't be the person who just make a song out of just making a song. The song has to be linked to something else, to put it into something else, put it into formation, prioritized. Put set up and something like you know what I'm saying because my 10th house is Taurus and Venus is in my 10th house, so it's like I like to build, I like to be organized with my shit. Like, if I'm gonna come out with a song, I might as well make a whole mixtape that that song could cling to. So, it, it you know what I'm saying, it'd be structured. I just, I just don't that like that shit makes my fire structured. Cause I, I should be more spontaneous. I should be I should be more just don't give a fuck. Just be throwing out shit. But I, I'm a practical ass fire. I hate doing shit for no reason. Uh, my shit always gotta have a reason. And I come across a lot of fire signs that do a lot of shit off spontaneous spontaneous, whatever that word is. I come across a lot of motherfucking fire signs that that spontaneous just crazy like, you know what I'm saying? And I should be that way, but I got a lot of earth in my shit. Probably more earth than fire. Like, really, really, like, I'm just four, five. Sun, moon, rising, and Mercury is really the only thing in fire. Everything else is in earth. My, my Jupiter is in Taurus. Uh, they all cuspy, though. Cus cuspy. But since they, like, one or two degrees over, I go ahead and say they're in earth. You know what I'm saying? But... Like my Mars, my Mars 29 degrees uh, Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I be jumping in all kind of Aquarius situations. Uh, 
my motherfucking uh, Venus is in fucking barely two degrees Gemini. You know what I'm saying? So I find myself liking a lot of liking a lot of motherfucking Taurus traits and bitches. Like a lot of Earth traits and bitches. I, I like I, me. I attract all goddamn Virgos. I'm a motherfucking Aries, but I attract all fucking Virgos. I do not know why. I know why, but. In a way, I don't. It's like, I attract all motherfucking Virgos. I do. This is weird. Because I don't have no Virgo in my motherfucking chart. And then Virgo is in my second house. So, it always end bad. Because it's all... It's all I, I don't want to get into that. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Virgo... And Virgo is my north node. I mean, my south node. Virgo is my south node. Pisces is my north node. Virgo is in my second house. Pisces in my eighth house. You know what I'm saying? Mercury is in my eighth house. You know what I'm saying? The ruler of my south node is in my eighth house. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ah. But at the same time, I'm not supposed to. I'm not supposed to work hard for money. You know what I'm saying? So anytime that I used to, I used to get in trouble a lot for what I do and shit. But at this, at the, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm not supposed to work hard. In my past lifetime, I already worked hard for money. I'm not supposed to work hard for money uh, or not, or possessions this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? I get taken care of by the universe in this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? And I'm supposed to be appreciative about it. I'm not, I'm not supposed to neglect that feeling. I'm not supposed to be like, oh, but I need to, I need a job, this, that, that. Nah, and I don't. That's why I don't need one. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like uh, Venus is 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 the love that you have for things you know what i'm saying and the love you have for people and the compassion you can show and 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 the way you can relate to others you know what i'm saying if if you if you're a person who don't got a lot of friends and you don't know how to relate to others and just that you have a bad venus you know what i'm saying and you don't and you don't have nothing in your seventh house or you don't have things aspect in your houses or anything to help it out so just you could you could become a loner and shit because you don't know how to you know what i'm saying but venus venus is here for everybody you know what i'm saying venus is uh the the um the second second rock from the sun you know what i'm saying mercury is the first venus is the second earth is the third you know what i'm saying mars is the fourth you know what i'm saying it's the uh from the sun you know what i'm saying and you just and and venus Venus has a, a rotation that's kind of like the moon, but Venus helps the moon out. Like Mercury likes the moon. I mean, Venus likes the moon. You know what I'm saying? Venus, because they share they share female qualities. You know what I'm saying? And the female trait, the moon can have you feel emotional. Uh, Venus can have you feel emotional emotionally about something like the moon it could just have you be an emotional person but when venus kicks in if you got to try try with the moon from your venus or a opposition of square or something like that it can it can have you feel emotion emotionally about the specific thing that venus is in whatever house is in whatever sign is in like if, if venus is in freaking uh if venus is in leo it Wherever your moon at, it can have you feel emotionally about the traits of Leo. And then by Venus being there, you're going to love, you, you might be in love with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You might be in love with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Ven with Venus and Virgo, you may be in love with all the wrong things. You may be a in love with nitpicking, a love with details. So when you start to look at yourself and start not to feel worried, you you feel worried, but deep, but you you're not understanding that you're in love with feeling worried. <clears throat> that you love that, because if you did, you wouldn't keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Libra, Venus and Libra, you may love to be in love. You know what I'm saying? Venus and Scorpio, you know what I'm saying? We we established that. Venus and Sagittarius, you may have more more love for your studies than life itself. You may not give a fuck about life. But you give all the fucks in the world about life. You can tell everybody in the world about life, but when it comes to you, you don't. You may not even give a fuck about life. Like, if that make it to a Sagittarius, that makes perfect sense. It may not make sense to anybody else, but to a Sagittarius, that makes perfect sense. 
Capricorn, Venus and Capricorn, you may be in love with work, love with your job, Aquarius, you may be in love with communicating, but communicating with people about your own thoughts, Venus and Pisces, you, you're going to have love for humanity, you know what I'm saying, you, humanitarian at its most, you, you could automatically be humanitarian as an Aquarius, but Venus and, and but see, humanitarians with Aquarius, they do it for no purpose, they help people just to help people like they 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 help someone who's not their family faster than someone who's their family you know what i'm saying so it's like they have a humanitarian about the human race itself but with no thought feeling behind it pisces have a, a sincere love for humanity period especially with venus there you know what i'm saying so yeah that's venus you know what i'm saying venus I love Venus. I got a lot of love for Venus, but too much love could get you killed. Too much love could get you hated. So be careful about exerting too much Venus energy on this earth. Flight boss, bitch.